Today. Who remembers my name? What's my name? Okay, my name is Faith, and today I'll be talking about the woman I want to be. What's the topic on? And what are we celebrating today? International Girl Child Day. So I remember being like you before, eight years ago like an international um, girl child day like this and I was representing my school and today now I'm still speaking with young girls celebrate yourself now are you not proud to be a woman? you're proud to be a woman right? so today I'll be talking about the woman I want to be what am I talking about? the woman I want to be so um, growing up from being a girl child to becoming a woman is a stage that needs to be nurtured. And when I mean, please listen, I'll ask question. It's a stage that needs to be nurtured. And when I mean nurtured, it shouldn't be something you should toy with. Do you understand? You groom it just the way if you are, if maybe mom sends you to go and get eggs now. Will you be running with the eggs? Would the egg break? Now you should see yourself as you are in that stage that needs to be nurtured to becoming a woman. I'm sure you all have role models, right? You all have people you look up to. You admire them. You like how they are today. Those people were once like you. They once had a stage like you. And that is why Rohev is here to build you up to becoming that woman you want to be. Hello? Hi. So I'm, I'm sure a lot of you will be asking, so how do I become that woman I want to be? How do I know or what steps should I take to become the woman I am today? Great. So today we'll be talking about what kind of woman do I want to be? And number one valid point is you must be a woman that spreads hope and light. And what does that what, do, what does it mean to spread hope and light? Can anyone tell me? What does it mean to spread hope and light? You don't know what hope is. You are giving courage to another person. You are spreading hope. You are light. When, when, whenever everywhere is dark, do you see anything? Everywhere will be dark. You are not seeing anything. But when there is light, you can see clearly, right? We want you to grow into that woman that spreads hope and light. We want you to grow into that woman that is a beacon of hope that spreads hope and that spreads light. Another woman we want you to grow into becoming is, you must be a woman that is not afraid of trying. When I mean not afraid of trying, uh, you say, okay, today you're all students. Maybe you wrote a particular examination and you be like, you fail from that examination and you're like, I'm no more doing it again. In fact, I'm not even going to school. School has come. Is that not the normal slogan you're supposed to say? But you must be the kind of woman that knows. I'm not giving 
giving up on this phase of life. I'm going to keep trying. There's nobody that has ever died of trying. Do you know why? Whenever you try, you are only empowering yourself to become better. Trying does not kill you. You must never give up. You must keep trying. And that is the woman who wants you to be. Another powerful thing you must know today is you must be, be a woman that embraces her self worth and learn the significance of compliments. And when I mean embracing the significance of compliments, are you listening to me? Yes, When I mean embracing the significance of compliments, you can look into the mirror and say, oh, I look beautiful today. Regardless of maybe the other person said, this, this my friend is fine, oh. But you must embrace yourself. Be like, nobody is like me. I am unique in my own way. You must embrace self-worth. There's one powerful thing I do most times. Whenever I have, I, I want to encourage myself or build my self-worth, Sometimes when I wake up in the morning that you know you, you feel lazy to stand up, you stretch like ten times. Be like, oh today is school again. This morning I'm going to go to school again. So most times I'll be like, okay, and my other name is Chubi. I'll be like, okay, Chubi, I know you can try again today. I know why you started. I'm talking to myself. Do you know that you can talk to yourself? Yes. On your own, you can say, oh, I know why I started this. I know why I'm going to read very well for this exam. I know why I'm going to be dedicated or committed to this. Because I want to pass. And that is why you must embrace self-worth. Nobody is like you. Nobody is like you. You are unique in your own way. Regardless of your skin color, regardless of your background, regardless of your status, regardless of your ethnic group, you are unique. And another thing I want you to know, you must be the kind of woman that brings honor to your family, honor to your cycle, honor to your society. You know, the, with the society we live in right now is, will I say, it's corrupt, right? It's corrupt. A lot of girls want to do things that are not right. You all know what is good and you all know what is bad because we are in that, like I said initially, we are in a state that needs to be nurtured to becoming a woman. Yeah. Because you are doing it doesn't mean you should do it. What worked for A might not work for B. What A did that escaped with it might ruin B. So you must be conscious of your circle. Be conscious of your circle. Bring honor to your family. Bring honor to your society. Bring honor to your teachers because they are investing in you. You know that. They are investing in you and you shouldn't take it for granted. Then, another thing, the roles you have to play in the becoming the woman you desire. You don't just sit at home. You don't just sit in your classroom and fold your hands and say, Huh? I will reach that stage now. I'll be a woman. I will have children. I will. I will, I'll be. I'll be a working class woman and all of that. There are roles you need to play, and one of which is clarity. When I mean clarity, who knows what I what I'm talking about? Clarity. You are being specific on what you want. You are being specific on what you want to achieve as well. And there's one way to gain clarity. Write down your goals. How many of you have journals? You or you have a book that sometimes you, you don't you don't want to talk to anybody but you want to write down how you feel about yourself and your future. How many of you do that? I do that often. And now clarity will help you to navigate. Clarity will help you to find the right track. At least sometimes I'll, I'll go back to where I wrote the kind of woman I want to be. And I'll be like, okay, even if this journey is tough right now, I already have to know where I am going. That is clarity. Writing down your goals. What do I want to be? A few years from now, what kind of life do I desire? A few years from now, what kind of life do I want to become and all of that? Hello? Yes. Clarity will help you navigate. Personally, my how I also use 
allows my clarity to navigate through my path to becoming a woman, I use the power of vision board. How many of you know vision board? I'm sure most of you don't know vision board. Aside writing down my goals, I also do a pictorial view of what I desire. If you come, like in my room, I pack out images, pictorial images of what I want to become. If maybe in two years time I want to have a business in maybe the fashion industry, I look for pictures of that line and I paste it on a board. It must, necess it must not necessarily be a board or something. Just paste a pictorial view of what you really imagine. And that will, yes, or a stick on writing down what you want to become. And that will help you navigate. So because of our time, I want us to practice affirmations, which is the last thing I'll be talking about, affirmations. Affirmations are also the words you say to yourself that builds up your self-worth in becoming a woman. So we are going to say it together. I am proud of the woman I am becoming. I am proud of the woman I am becoming. Say it as if you mean it. I'm proud of the woman I'm becoming. I am capable. I am limitless. I am filled with happiness. I am with happiness. Fear cannot stop me. Fear cannot stop me. I give no room to negativity. I give no room to negativity. I see greatness building itself inside of me. My baby steps out. My baby steps out. I am a boy. Moving into a woman of value. I am moving into a woman of value. Intentional. 